In the last episode of Max Set from Scratch, we made quite a bit of money, so if you haven't checked that out, there's a link to the playlist in the description. Now, getting all this money allowed us to get some pretty significant upgrades. We managed to get a Sears Ring, an Amulet of Fury, and a Radiant Bracelet, as well as 600k cash left over. Now, before we move on to like getting Ancients unlocked and getting like 60 attack and moving on to the next peer and trying to get more upgrades, the final upgrades that we really need for the baby pure max set from scratch is an occult necklace and basically a B ring, and that should be the baby pure max set done. That costs around three to four mil or so, so we're just gonna go out PKing today and try and make some money. In yesterday's video, I asked you guys whether you think I should risk the max set in every video, and there are a lot of varying comments, so what I've decided to do is I'm not gonna risk the upgrades I've just got, but I'm still gonna risk what I was risking in the last episode, so if I do die, at least I have some stuff to rebuild with. So let's go check it out, and let's see if we can make some more money to get these final upgrades. We're gonna be using the tier three that we got in the last episode as well. Can we catch a freeze? There we go. Go for a TB, nice. Holy shit, those knives hit hard, bro. They actually hit super hard. Let's go for a flames here. There we go. In for the G mall. Dead, please. Bro, probably the worst hits ever, but we actually got him. Good fight. We got him with the final G mall whack. GG, my dude. Let's pick up his loot. We're on a tier four now as well. No emblem off of him, unfortunately, but we're gonna pick up everything we just got. Okay, we're on a tier four, so six more upgrades to go, and 87k in the loot ball. Let's catch a freeze, there we go. I gotta be careful here, because I'm deep. I'm deep in enemy behavior, and this pure is probably gonna wanna hit me. Oh, it's dead scene. Does he know who I am? Hopefully he does, so he doesn't kill me. He's the bro. Let's just go in for another flames, there we go, 22. Let's just get ready to go in for this entangle. Let's catch it in a second. There we are. Let's go for a bolt. Nice. I need to try and get this GMO out the way soon. Let's go for flames. In for the GMO. Dead, please. Dead. And he is dead. Good fight. Okay, we're out of there. We're risking this set. I don't want to die. This is the bro. He's helping me out with a nice little box. We want a tier 5 emblem and another emblem ourselves. Okay, there probably. I didn't bother looting anything else. There wasn't really much there worth it. And everyone's trying to kill me, obviously, because I'm risking uh, 3.5 mil and I'm in level 40 Wildy. Alright, it's been about over two weeks since I've played the game because I've had exams, but they're over now and we can carry on with this video. I just did get a free upgrade off like some naked guy. I didn't get an emblem or anything. So we're on a tier 6, so four more kills and we can get the tier 10. Let's catch a TB on this guy. He's the same level as us. It's low level wild though, so he should have a pretty easy escape if he wants it. So we just need to be prepared to fight him. And hopefully win. Go for a flame. There we go. He's not really changing that prayer too much, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with free damage wherever I can get it. Let's go for another flame here. Okay, let's not staff bash him. 50 HP, that's a good way to die. Free mage, let's go for the entangle here. Caught it, he's got an occult as well. I doubt he risks it, but he does have one. That's for sure. Lag, hello? I can't tell. Oh no, we're just, we're just not hitting each other. That makes more sense. Let's go for another one. There we go. Actually, no, that's a little bit of a rush, Gmall. At least it makes a pre melee. Let's go for a refreeze there. Nice. Going for a bolt, pre mage. Nice. Let's go for a flames here. It should make him pre melee. Yep. Good range there. I feel like we're winning quite comfortably. Or should be at least. Going for a flames. And for a Gmall, dead, please. Dead. KO'd, good fight, another Brid down. GG dude, we prayed melee on his specs, and he didn't pray melee on ours. Took him out the game, we're on a tier 7 now as well, we got two emblems from him as well, which is very nice money. And we're gonna pick up the rest of his loot, good fight. Okay, we have ourselves 250k alone in the looting bag, and another 400 or 350k from the emblem, so that's like, I don't know how to do math, but I think that's around a 600k kill. Plus we're on a tier 7. Can we catch a TB? There we go. It's going for a bolt. This is going to be a fight to the death, so we better get some good hits. I'm just going to keep bolting him right now while he tries to catch a freeze. Nice. Let's just go for the G Mall here. Dead? Please? Oh my god, we've already done so much damage to him. Let's just pray mage here. And just bolt him while we brew up. We're doing loads of damage. Pray range. Nice. I'm not even going to bother freezing him right now. Okay, I can't bother freezing him now. Let's go for one there. Nice. Let's go for a flames. There we go. A 20. Going for another one. 
He's just gonna try and rush a Gmall, otherwise he's gonna die. There's no way he wins this fight now. I've done way too much damage to him. 27. Going for another Bolt. Oh shit, what did I just do there? Just going for another Bolt. He can't freeze DD on me here either. Come on, 28. He's so dead. 26. Just keep brewing. He's dead. Good fight. That was just slaughter. GG, dude. Let's pick up all his loot. We're on tier 8 as well. We should have more than enough food to escape if we do get hit. Okay, we're out of there on a tier 8. Killing another PK for 174k loot as well. Can we catch a TB? This is the guy with the... What's it called? With the ballista. And he just camps it and he just hits hard. It's very frustrating to fight. But we do it and we go for the GMO and he's dead. Please? Yup, he is dead. Good fight, mister. We had a fight with him earlier and he ran to multi. This time, couldn't get there in time. We're on a, self, on a tier 9. Got two emblems from him as well. So that's already a really good kill and we're going to pick up the rest of his loot. That was a quick kill. Alright, we're on ourselves a tier 9. So just one more kill for the tier 10. Uh, 220k in the looting bag and another 200 and like 300k maybe in the emblem, so 500k loot in total, and one more kill for it's tier 10. Can we check the TB? There we go. Oh, he's actually gonna fight me up here. Very strange location to be having a fight. Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna go up and down for the whole thing. Please tell me he's not. Okay, he's got rune knives, I think. 39 bolt there, nice. I'll take it. I was just going for the G Mall here, dead? Nope, not the best hits in the world. But they are some hits. Can we entangle him off the ladder, please? Splash. A one. Okay, there we go. We got an entangle off the ladder, so he can't just go up there when he wants to. Uh we should for sure outlast him, but he's definitely just gonna try and go for a G Mall. Oh, he's got a level 66 here as well. We probably wants to PJ me after. Uh, after he tries to escape or something? I don't really know what his plan is, to be honest. I was just going for a re-entangle in a second. We can minimize this. There was the Gmall. Good thing I froze him. I don't know if these guys understand how the PJ thing works. Nice little bolt there. 37. Going for another one. 25. I just got to be ready to pray melee. Come on, 26. I just pray melee here. 13. Okay, he's going to go up the ladder now. I just need to make sure I can stay with him. Cannabis high. Bolt him. One more time, nice. I don't think he got the log out there either. And he can't skip me either. He's gonna die. I'm just bolting the fuck out of him. Okay, I caught him, nice. Let's go for a flame. He has to be out. I teleported to him when he ran. He went for the run and I just teleported to him and kill him. I don't know what him and his friend were trying to do. There's no way that was gonna work. But I am now uh, on a tier 10 and I have all his loot as well. I'll take it. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, well. Look at all these uh, emblem boosters. Sir Pugger's got a video in his hands here, right here. Anyway, so 80k loot, not the greatest, but we're on a tier 10 just from that kill, which is another 2 mil. All right, before we sell everything and see if we can get our final upgrades, we do have a tier 2 that we got earlier that we could try and use to upgrade, and we could potentially kill someone for a higher emblem as well. So we're just going to go and try and get ourselves another tier 10. Okay, let's try and hit our target again. There we go. Just going for the TB so we can't teleport away, obviously, because... You know, if they're teleporting away, that means I'm not killing them. Let's go for a bolt. 20 there. Oh, we need a better hit than that. He's got Prey Mage as well. I gotta be careful, because I think he might have a G-Mall. And G-Malls are genuinely scary. You know, they have that little that little effect about them that makes you go, Oh shit, I don't want to die. 12? Give me a good hit here. That's not a good hit. We're going for the G-Mall anyway. Is he dead? 19 for the KO. Good fight. We're on a tier 3 now. He drops a good fight as well. No real loot off of him, I don't think. Thinking he had lobsters. What the hell? All right, well, we're on. That's basically a free upgrade, I guess, then. Onto a tier three, and let's keep going. All right, I've got a target fairly deep wild, so this could be fairly risky, but fuck it, we're just gonna do it. Let's go for the freeze. Okay, he is not sculled, which is interesting. Can we catch a freeze on him, please? Okay, he's got a blister, too. Honestly, I should be fine, I think. Hopefully. I just wanna make sure I've TB'd him, because I can't remember if I've done. Let's charge up there. We're getting some nice hits. I honestly was so scared about this guy, but it turns out he's just... He looks like a fairly newbie guy. Let's go for the Gmall. Dead? Is he dead? There he is. Good fight. I banked my looting bag and everything because I was scared. But that uh, was a free kill by the looks of it. When I first caught him as a target, he was like level 30. So I was like, oh shit. But yeah, this looks like some pretty good loot. Unfortunately, no looting bag, but we should, should still get quite a bit of loot. So we'll be fine. 
Okay, we're now on a tier 4, and we got a decent amount of loot from that guy as well. Uh, over 440k, and we put some of his runes into our, what's it called, rune pouch. Okay, this guy's just spec and tellying. Apart from that, he's not really fighting. Let's go for the GM all here. Dead? Nope. Great melee. Let's go for the bolt. Great mage. We're just going to bring him up north, see if he follows, because I doubt he will. He's going for an entangle. There we go. Nice. Let's go for a ball here. He's doing a lot of damage. Just taking him up north might have not been the smartest idea, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't even know if we're charged or not. Let's go for an entangle. He seems to be running already, so maybe it was a good idea. We'll never know. Take the G-Mall again. Maybe he thinks we still have spec. He does. He prayed melee. Going for a flame. Nice. Great mage here. Catch the re-entangle. There we go. Oh, I hope he's out of food. I really want to hit him with a sit. So badly. You have no idea how badly I want to hit this guy with a sit. Come on. Catch the refreeze. He's still praying mage. Oh, he's got the Zami mage. He is kind of smart. Maybe he hasn't done it? What are the chances this guy hasn't done Zami mage? Come on. Let's hit him with another flames. There we go. A seven. Nice. He's going for the refreeze. There we go. Come on. Give me a big flame. He's just camping per range. Which, I mean, I have no issue with, personally. He's out. Just hit. Just hit, man. Is he dead? Good fight. Oh, oh fuck. I said good fight. I meant to say sit. Um, we're on a tier 5. Uh, we got an emblem and shit off of him as well. Gonna pick it all up. Good fight, dude. Okay, I like how I forgot to say sit, but we're on a tier 5, and we got ourselves another emblem just like that, and another 165k loot. So 300k and a tier 5. Can we catch on a TB on him? There we go. Go for a freeze. Okay, this could be a potentially very risky fight, so we're gonna have to treat it that way. Let's go for a bolt, because we are very deep in the wilderness right now. Prey mage there. Oh, and he's got uh, ice splits too. This isn't good. Well, I mean, oh, is he? Lol? He just fucking got one hit by my- well, not one hit, obviously. There's gonna be that one nerd in the comments. It wasn't a one hit. It was a four hit. Anyway, he just didn't eat his food and I hit him a 29 with a one recoil stack. Onto a tier 6. And some free loot. Was he doing- like, was he legitimately killing Ankus or- I have no idea what he was doing. Alright, on a tier 6 and another 100k in the looting bag. All right, in our inventory is basically what our bank's worth right now. We've got a tier 10 and a tier 6. We're going to sell the tier 10 for 2 mil real quick in the BH and chill CC. All right, we have our 2 mil from our tier 10. We could sell the tier 6 for 1 mil as well, but I just want to keep that and save it for the upgrades. Now we're just going to sell everything that we've made in this episode, and hopefully we can finish off our baby pure max set. At over 5.2 mil, this is more than enough money to finish it off. The first thing we're getting is an occult necklace, which is just about 1 mil. And the second thing we're getting is the Berserker Ring, which we should be able to imbue very shortly if we can't do it already. Uh, we can now hit pretty hard, and in the next video we'll be PKing with our full max set. We might get a little bit of stats up as well, because, you know, we don't just want to get one hit for this. But this is the kind of gear we're rocking with right now. We need to get more bolts as well. One mil cash stack still around, and it's about 18.5 uh, mil, mil, 18 mil worth in total. If you guys have enjoyed this episode and you guys are enjoying the series, Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys later.